um, charged and is facing um, court cases and possibly jail, jail time for helping her daughter to procure uh, an abortion. We're here for solidarity for all the women in Northern Ireland who have gone for abortions. We're here in solidarity for their friends who have helped them, for their, for their mothers and fathers who have helped them, for their lovers, their boyfriends, for their uh, friends who have helped them get abortions. We're here in solidarity with the women in Dublin who have been forced to go to another country for abortion. We're here in solidarity with the friends who have helped them, who are also being faced with possible prosecution, possible jail time for helping them. Very few people in Ireland know that if you try and get an abortion, say by taking a pill that's easily available in other countries, you could face up to 14 years jail. We're here because we think that's horrific and it's horrendous. If I get pregnant, I have a choice to make. That's my choice. I have a decision to make, and I'm the best person to make that decision. It's my decision. It's not my doctor's decision. It's not a lawyer's decision. It's not a journalist's decision. It's not a judge's decision. It's not a counselor's decision. It's not a psychiatrist's decision. It's my decision. And I'll make that decision thinking about the things that affect my own circumstances. I'll think about my health. I'll think about how secure I am. I'll think about my job. I think about how much support I have for my family. I am the best person who knows the sort of world I live in and the context that I live in. I'm the best person to make that decision. So we're here to support all the women in Ireland who are forced for that decision. The woman at the centre of this, this case did what so many of us here today and all over Ireland, north and south, have done. She orders online and access the abortion pill to give to family, to friends or to take ourselves. I've been at countless protests and rallies and actions just like this one, which has challenged the state's inhumane and sexist laws on abortion. The Rosa action last October, for example, where activists collected this pill in Belfast and took it in full view of the media in Conley Station. All of these actions had no police backlash, no arrests, no prosecution. The state itself knows that this law is not only unenforceable, given that they have thousands upon thousands of cases every year, but also that an arrest would gather huge support for the pro-choice movement. It would highlight the complete disregard for our health, our lives and our choices, as this case has done. We shouldn't have to access information about life-altering life-saving medication on the back of toilet cubicle doors in pubs or on the stickers that cover the streets advertising women on web. We shouldn't have to fear that our medication is seized, that there's a delay in postage and least of all that we would face criminal charges for accessing a drug that the World Health Organization has listed as an essential medicine. We demand not only that these charges are dropped but that the governments north and south stop taking such a cowardly, sexist, and dangerous position on abortion. We demand that abortion is free, safe, and legal north and south. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what it might mean if, if this woman is prosecuted. But, uh, sorry. Um, uh, it, it, it'll just be really, really scary. It'll be really chilling for the women in Ireland who are already marginalised to the point where they need to break the law in order to have abortions. Um, even if the charges are dropped, it still sends a message that the women aren't really allowed to, to decide for themselves, not in this island. Um, it's really important that we're all here today to stand um, in solidarity with activists in Northern Ireland. Um, these women who um, have uh, now faced prosecution for for uh, uh, legally importing the pill, um, like the, the pill can't make it. Um, there we go. Um, the pill can't make it into the Republic of Ireland, uh, if not via Northern Ireland. All of these women are 
facing prosecution for, for helping women in the north, but also for helping women in the south. Um, it's really important that we're here, so thanks very much for coming out.